Hello there everyone and welcome back to another episode of DML and we do have news that the brand new update is going to be released tomorrow which is very very sudden news uh, but if we head on to the new section in game we've got all of the info here so a new update is coming tomorrow greetings an update is coming tomorrow starting with a community event Dragonlandians will have to work together to unlock the new features of the update the question is how fast you can get there. Who's going to be the te what's going to be the test? Sorry, stay tuned and find it out tomorrow. Check our Facebook, Insta, and our YouTube. So that is very exciting news, actually. A community event, and they said that we need to work together to unlock the new features. So basically, how this is going to work, I'm guessing, is the same as how Pokemon does in the Sun and Moon games, where they'll give us a task that we have to do a set amount of things. And everyone across the globe is going to be able to help out, essentially. Which is very interesting. I always think it's really weird when game companies decide to add that sort of thing to their game. But they are pretty fun. And, um, you know, mostly it just comes down to whether the game developers themselves have set the bar too high or not. Because, obviously, if they set the numbers too similar to what they were during the Clan Siege event... Obviously, uh, we're probably going to have a few issues, but, you know, we do have some people that are absolutely insane that just play this game, like, 20 hours a day if they can and just do so, so much in the game. So, uh, you know, I do have faith that whatever the task is, we'll be able to do it. The question is how quickly we'll be able to do it and what the tasks actually are. Imagine if it was like hatch two million dragons in a week or something. Do you think we'd be able to do that? I think so, if everyone was just like hatching fire dragon eggs over and over and over. And that might give some of the people that don't have anything else left to do in game a little bit more to sort of focus on or sort of waste their time with, I should say. Because you know, people that don't have any other dragons to breed, say they've got the sumo, they've got a full level 80 team, what else do they have to do? You know, participating in community events I think would probably be like a super interesting thing for them to do, but you know, we'll see what happens and we'll see what rewards we get and what things we air quotes unlock, but I'm pretty excited and I'm happy that it's coming out on a day when I'm relatively free rather than a day where I'm like super duper busy so that's good news as well so I will definitely be trying to be around as soon as I can oh my god 13 shadow that is a nice pickup from that chest oh DML do you love me today or what but yeah what are your thoughts on it so far on the DML Facebook page it's the same old whining like uh oh, this would be great but it's a typical dml update so it's all gonna be crap yeah you know get over yourselves it's uh we know you don't know what it's gonna be like until we see it you know if it is crap or if it's just not very good in general or what they unlock is like just bleh then fine we can complain but don't complain before the update's even out for god's sake we don't know what is like going on with it but they do have that at that I, I say Atlantis themed background, but it could just be a Greek themed background thing. They do have that in the background of the new update sort of revelation post. So I'm wondering if it's maybe battle related or it's something that we have to do battles for to unlock a new section of the map or a new island or a new something. I don't know. Literally, it could be anything at this point they haven't really given any sort of teasers about it because the community manager only came back very recently which means that he well they haven't been making many posts or having many statements out recently but they're back now we're getting the new update soon so uh no get prepped get very prepped for all of that and uh I think the Aloha Dragon, like, just finished hatching on my Android device as well, so, you know, we'll, we'll have that guy to hatch as well, so I hope that having dragons in the hatchery or braiding stuff isn't going to get in the way of the new community event, whatever the heck it is, but hopefully it's a nice change of pace, because I, I don't know if we've had a community event in DML before, 
nothing interesting at least. Like, I remember the old um, leaderboard events where we had like the Sparkle Dragon as the reward where it was one team versus another team. And basically if you picked the stronger team then you'd just win. And we did win that event. And they did that for the Football World Cup stuff as well. And I actually really enjoyed that. Like, it was such a strange little event that happened that we've not really seen much of in like a year plus now. But I thought that that was pretty fun, honestly. So I'd like to see more just goofy, weird stuff just to sort of break the mold of what we normally expect. Because anything different is definitely a plus from me, because, you know, I've said it before and I'll say it again, this game can get very, very monotonous when it's just, you know, go into the map, do a blue map fight, one-shot everything, you know, I've done that hundreds of thousands of times at this point, it's nothing new, it's nothing spectacular or fun. Like, look at this, I'm just gonna use this fire and then everything's gonna die. Kablam! Like, it doesn't require any mental energy to do that, apart from, like, is anything strong against it? If it is, use the other type. Pretty, pretty very simple. So, you know, like I said, I'm looking forward to it. I hope that it's fun, and I will do stuff on it as soon as it comes out. Normally, new update stuff comes out at about 3pm, 4pm in the UK, so... Not sure what time that is for wherever you are, but that is normally when the update stuff tends to come out. So, I've got new update stuff for another game coming out at about 11, and then stuff for that coming out at 4. So it's going to be a pretty hectic day tomorrow, actually. But, right, <clears throat> I am definitely looking forward to it. I hope it is fun, at least, and it uh, doesn't just prove the Facebook people correct, because... As soon as something crappy happens, they're just like, Ha! Told ya! Even though I just complain every time that we get update news and then say that it's always going to be crappy. Ha! Get told that I predicted it correct once out of like 50 times. You know, it's just better to not try and boost that already inflated ego any further than it already is. But, you know, I just mostly wanted to notify you that it is coming out for anyone that didn't know so far. And, oh, the Kronos baby was, like, so far down. What were you doing there? You absolute dope. You absolute diddly dope. And we should probably actually put Pinky in to upgrade one of his attacks. Um, I, I think Wind is still more important than Legendary, so I'm going to choose that as our mastery. And, oh, this is tough, but I think I will take Storms of Brewing. Storms of Brewing is just so, so good. Like, it is so good. It does the same reduced damage on the main target as compared to Last Breath, which is the main reason I'm going to take it. But I know that it doesn't last for as many turns, but we don't plan on the fights lasting for more than say two to three turns anyway so i think that is definitely going to help us out a ton it's only really boss fights that you'd take the other one for anyway but oh gosh so many update things i love when new updates come out maybe we'll see that gondola and that memorial and the other dragon coming out maybe not i hope so though i want to add the gondola to our collection to be like the uh the Imperial Dragon's second cousin, or something along those lines. See, you might, you might get a little friend soon, Mr. Imperial. And we are very close, so, so close to getting level 109, so... Oh, I might have to keep doing some more fights tonight, and I may be able to actually live stream the new update stuff tomorrow. We'll see what happens anyway. But for now, I'm going to leave you guys there, so... Thank you very much for joining me today, and until next time... I will see you then.